use of hawala and other informal value transfer system hawala or hundi is nowadays used as a derogative term however it was the first form of money transfer that was practiced since people started to see the money the word hawala has its origin in the arabic language which means transform or change later it also gained the additional meaning of trust and reference they are usually associated with ethnic groups of africa asia and the middle east meaning it operates in the closed trust group in hawala or hundi there is no physical movement of currency and there is inconsistent practice of record keeping now let's understand hundi by this example in this scenario mr x who is in america wants to send some money to mr y in nepal he will go to mr john doe a hundi operator and ask him to transfer the funds mr john doe will contact mr ram a hundi operator in nepal mr ram will give the money to mr y on the behalf of mr x kindly note that mr john did not give mr x any receipt and mr john record keeping is designed to keep track how much money he owes to mr ram rather than individual remittances that he has made mr john record keeping may look like below the first column indicates the date of transaction second shows the name of hawala broker to whom the debt is owned it is very common to use partial names or aliases the third column is the amount of debt the fourth column shows the dollar npr exchange rate in the effect for the transaction the fifth column shows the value of transaction in the dollar the sixth column reflects the way in which the payment was made the first nine records in the table shows the payment was made through the check while in the second last row 52 ta means that payment was settled in 52 tolas of gold indicating that hawala broker may be a jeweler or gold dealer mr john will settle his dues by providing gold to ganesh trading in the case of international transaction like this the dues amount will be settled through trade based money laundering which we have discussed earlier so why hundi is illegal in most of countries and what are its money laundering risk the first thing is hundi does not leave any kind of paper trail the record keeping is usually done in unreadable shorthand which is maintained only for the short period of time hawaladars often operates legitimate or front business like jewelry business hotels cosmetic shops clothing business to provide cover for the hundi activities they can easily commingle the funds received from hundi activities with their business and make deposit in accounts maintained in different financial institution hundi is also bad for the economy meaning in the developing countries where hundi is prevalent the foreign reactions reserves of government will not increase this means that government will not be able to sustain their import and if the country is import based economy then the situation will deteriorate